Hi everybody, this is Johnny. I have a new game for you. This game is called Multiset, and for this game you'll need some number cards. You'll find a link to these number cards just below this video in the description. These cards are all about multiplication. If we take a look, you can see they're always multiples of things. It can be as simple as 1 of 4, 7 of 7, 6 of 8, 7 of 3, they're all about multiplication. You'll need one more thing for this game. What is it? Oh, I know what it is. It's our friend here. We need a bear. So let me show you how to play this game. Let's put these away for right now. So the number cards are special. They're all color-coded. If you see a card like this, you'll see that it's both green and pink. Green is always about four of something. You can see there are four dice here. And pink is always about seven of something. You'll see seven dots on each of the dice. Another card here. You can see that it's both blue and brown. The blue background means that there's going to be six of something. And you'll see there are six of these dice. But brown always means there's eight of something. And you'll see eight dots on each of the dice. And on this one, You'll see that it's both purple and orange. Purple is always about three of something, and orange is always about two of something. So purple says there are three dice here, and orange means that there will be two dots on each of the dice. So just remember, black is always about one of something, orange is about two, purple is about three, green is about four, red is about five, blue is about six of something, Pink is about 7, brown is about 8, and yellow is about 9. Keep this in mind while you play the game. So let's look at what a set might look like. Let's put these away for a moment. In multi-set, we can make sets in different ways. Here are some examples. If I put down these three cards, you might notice right away how they're the same. They all have red dice on them, which means they're about fives. 5, 5, 5, 5. Each of these is red and about fives, so that's a set. Another set might look like this. Think about what's the same with these. The dice are different this time, but the backgrounds are the same. Because the background is the same, they're all green, these cards are all about four of something. Four sixes, four eights, four fours. That's a set too. But there are mixed sets. So let's take a look at this. These all have something in common. What is it? These all have blue. A blue background, blue dice, blue dice. That means there's six of something in each of them. In this case, there's six fours. And these two cards is about six on each of the dice. So these are all about blue and six. So this is a set also. Here's another example. Take a look and think about what's in common with these. What do you see? You see black on each of them, right? Black is always about one. This is one, two. These are one on each of the dice. And this is about one, eight. This is also a set. So in multi-set, we're looking for sets of cards, three of them, that have the same color in them. They could be in the background or they could be on the dice, but it's always the same color across all three cards. So let's go ahead and play a game. This could be played with any number of players. So I'm going to set out nine cards. As the cards are being set out, the players are looking for sets to be made. Three cards of a kind based on color. And no one can call a set until all nine cards have been set out. I'm looking at these cards and I see two different sets. Do you see them? When a player sees the set, they call out the number of the set. What's the magic number for the set? So I'm going to say seven first, because pink is all about seven. So here are seven twos. Here are seven nines, and here are seven eights. You will see they all have the same background color, pink. And as I pick them up, I should be saying seven twos makes 14, 
Seven nines makes 63. And seven eights makes 56. And then I would hold on to them, having called this set. Do you see the other set? I see red, red, and red. Red is always about fives. Five fours makes 20. Five eights makes 40. And five ones makes five. So this is a set as well. So I could collect this or whoever called that number. If they said fives, they get this set. I'm going to deal out cards to fill in the rest. No one can say set until all the cards have been laid out here. Do you see any sets? I see at least one. Actually, I see two. Do you see both of them? I might call out fives. That's because I see one five here, worth five. I see nine fives, and I'd say 45. Two fives, and I'd say 10. And having this set, I could collect it from my count. I also see another set, but somebody else may call it before me. I could call out threes. And if I say threes, I'm seeing this card. Nine threes is 27. Three threes is nine. And four threes is 12. This is a set also. I don't see a set with the last three. I'm going to fill in the spaces now. Remember, no one can call set until all the cards have been laid out. Do you see any sets yet? I again see two sets. Someone might call out, what numbers would they call out? They might call out sevens. You see the sevens, but this might surprise you. This is sevens, six sevens, making 42. They might call out this one too, because this is seven fours, making 28. And then they might call out this one saying nine sevens, make 63, and that's a set. Do you see the other set? I see it. I would call out eights. And that's because here you will find eight nines, which makes 72. Eight ones makes eight, but then there's three eights, which make 24. This is also a set. Do you see the brown, the brown, and the brown? They all go together. I'm going to deal out to fill the spaces. No one's going to call anything until all the cards are set. You keep your eyes peeled for another set. Do you see any sets? I see one set. Do you see it as well? I would call out twos. And I call out twos because there are four twos here that make eight. And this one's pretty obvious too. Nine twos makes 18. But two sixes make 12. This is also a set. So I collect this for my points. I don't see any others. Let's fill in the gaps. The card goes here, and here, and here. Do you see any sets? I see one set. I'd call out nines. This is six nines makes 54. This is four nines makes 36. But this is nine sixes, which makes 54. Yellow, yellow, yellow. This is a set I'd collected. At the end of the game, I'd count how many cards I collected to see how many I have to win. Are there any other sets here? Look closely. Oh, there's one more. What would you call out? I'd say ones. Do you see the ones? Here are two ones for two. Here are seven ones for seven. But here's one four for four. Black, black, and black. This is a set. I could collect this. I don't see any other sets here. Let's fill in the gaps. Do you see any sets? I see a set, but it could be made in two different ways. 
Some of you may see this, red back, red back, red back, and call out fives. So you could say that, five eights, five threes, five sixes, but you could also do five sixes, five threes, and eight fives. So the top is also a set. So you could go like this one. I don't see any of the sets here. So let's play out three more cards. Do you see it? I see two sets right now. Do you see both of them? One person might call out threes, and they would say seven threes makes 21, eight threes makes 24, but then three sevens makes 21. Purple, 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 a set. And the other one, I'm seeing a lot of yellow here, so I'd say nines. Nine nines makes 81. Nine five nines makes 45. And this one is nine eights to make 72. So this is also a set. We would set out new cards. and we'd be continuing to look for sets. I just want to give you one special rule here. It may not be with this one, but if you found that you had nine cards and you could not find a set, then you'd have a player who would just set out cards one by one until you see a set. So if there's no sets there, you play a card, anyone see a set, they call it. If that card makes no set, you play another one until somebody can take the card on the top and make a set with the rest of them. That's only if you get stuck, and that won't happen very often. When that card has been played and collected with the other ones, the cards that were underneath go to the bottom of the stack, and you continue play. At the end of the game, the player that's made the most sets will count how many cards they have, and we'll, everybody will compare the number of cards they have to see who has the greatest set. Whoever has the greatest number of cards wins the game. This is the game multi-set. And for this game, you need some number cards. You can find a link to these cards just below the video in the description. You need some friends to play the game with, and there's something else. What else would you need for this game? Oh, you'll need a bear. Do enjoy this game.